Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here, and it's when I feel like it o'clock right now. And you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pow Picks Edition. Thank you all for coming. It's you know what it is? It's the end of the month. So if you're wanting to be a Patreon member, if you thought about it and you'd like to have a free month, you'll get all the playoff picks and uh, other sports picks that we do. Just be Joe Bork, the B part of B Pow, just nailed baseball, like crushing it, crushing it, which is good because it makes up for my world hockey picks, which were not too great. Voodoo, voodoo. Polaris beat Sweden? Really? Really, really? Anyways, happens. I know I haven't did a video for a couple days. Uh, it's been a little bit. I had a little, I had to, uh, I had to get in the Pearl Copter. I needed to uh, head out to all my fans. I went out to everybody and I, I sent out, I went to get uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklaces, which you get if you subscribe. And I did it myself. I went there. Well, I didn't drive the Pearl Copter. Of course, that was Hernandez. And uh, I pretty much just sat there. And then when we got there, they dropped it down and I waved and then came home. But it was still busy, very busy time. So I didn't do videos. I thought that was more important at the time, I guess. I don't know. And I just didn't feel like it. And it is when I feel like it o'clock. So if you don't feel like it, we don't do things in Pearl of Wisdom Industries, right? That's right. That's a life lesson to live by. That's a life rule, goal, rule, rule and goal. Same as pants, free living, 14 naps a day. You know, you know the routine. So, if you don't know, go in the comment section. I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Pants free living. A world without pants. That doesn't mean not wearing things on your bottoms. Just not pants. And where I want to get a squilt. It's a half skirt, half kilt. Yeah. So, you, that, 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 that's fine. It's pants. Too restrictive. Okay, well, I'm going to give you picks. Actually, I'm going to give you picks here for Saturday the 29th and Sunday the 30th. I'm going to give you both of them right here, right now. Totals and sides. Uh, we For this the game tonight, I can just tell you, we had Vegas and the over. So we did very well. Did pretty good. And as far as the playoffs are concerned, I'm just a little bit over. Just a little bit over. Um, uh, it hasn't been stellar like it was in the regular season, but it hasn't been too bad. Okay, let's go to the picks for tomorrow. Toronto, Montreal. Toronto going into Montreal after dropping the ball a little bit at home. Going into Montreal, Montreal's going to have 2,500 fans. Oh, poor me. Ooh. Sorry, I get a little too relaxed. <laughs> uh, I just have to, I got to take Toronto here. I just I have to. But I'm I'm a little uneasy about it. Montreal's going to have 20 2500 fans. Price has been playing very well. I just I don't. I, I can't see Toronto making the same mistakes they made last game. Um, it almost seemed like they took Montreal a little lightly, which is odd. Um, and maybe took a bit of a breather, thinking, okay, we got this, and they don't got that. And Campbell didn't play well. So the question is going to be, is Campbell, their goaltender, going to play bat poorly back-to-back? -back? He hasn't did that too often. After his 10-game winning streak in the regular season, he went into a bit of a slide. But I think Toronto's going to come back here. I'm only taking it on the money line, though. And I'm leaning over five and a half, and I don't even know why. I don't know why. You would I think mostly because Montreal is going to come out screaming in the first couple of First five minutes, I think they they got to get all over Toronto, and if they don't, Toronto will capitalize. So 
Um, I don't think Montreal is going to be playing defensive right away. I think they're going to want to come out, intimidate Toronto, try to get them back on their heels, um, and uh, use the energy of the, the fans and all of that right away. So I'm going to say Toronto, money line, over five and a half. Islanders versus Boston. I'll give you a series pick here, too. I got, I'll tell you my series pick. I got Boston in five. Uh, the Islanders won against Pittsburgh for one reason and one reason only. And you can tell me otherwise in the comment section if you disagree. And you know what it is. Tristan Jari was terrible. And now they're going against Tuka Rask. I, I believe if you traded goaltenders, and now it Sorokin or Varlamov. In fact, yeah, traded goaltenders. In fact, I think you could have the Islanders keep one and Boston, ha like say the Islanders had Sorokin and Boston had Varlamov or vice versa. Pittsburgh, I mean. Pittsburgh, sorry. If Pittsburgh had one of those goaltenders and the Islanders still had a good goaltender, Pittsburgh would have won that series, I think. So now we have Boston, who just took a very deep Washington team in five, has had rest, uh, and is deeper, has a better offense than the New York Islanders on paper. Defense, probably better as well on paper, but you got to give the Islanders system. Is, the, the Islanders, all they have in this series is two things. The kids Sorokin just doesn't stop stopping pucks, like does a hashik on Boston, right? But he's going up against Rask, who can do similar stuff. So, And that they just play that Islander system where it's just mechanical and Boston can't figure it out. These two teams haven't played in a series since like 1980s or something like that. But... I'm going to take Boston in this game. I'm taking them. Uh, I, I'm surprised they're getting. You're giving up quite this much juice here. At 155, not a big fan. But I'm also don't know if I want to take them in reg either. I want to see these teams play before I start doing stuff like that. So I'm going to take Boston money line, and the total is five. And I understand why they're both very defensive. And I got to go under the five, nonetheless. At 213, there's a very good chance these two teams play under five. Very good chance. So uh, you might as well take it at 213 with these two strong defense type teams. Uh, so that's my pick for that. Now, I'll give you Sundays too. Look at that. I'm giving you Sundays because I feel bad. I feel bad on my insides because. I didn't uh, have picks for you for the last two days or something like that. So um, I'm going to go, first of all, series. I This is a tough one. My head says Tampa. My heart says Carolina. I'm taking Carolina in seven, but I'm not like very good. Vasilevsky, Nadelkovic is his first playoffs. How is he going to handle it? How is he going to be? We know what Vasilevsky is going to be, likely, right? Tampa Bay is, how healthy are they? That's the question there. Hedman has been injured. Kucherov was injured for a game and came back. So that tells me that he probably isn't great. Um, it's going to be a barn burner series. I really, 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 really want Carolina to win it. <laughs> I love Carolina. My second favorite team in the East. So I'm going to, but in this game... I'm going to take Carolina. And I think I'm going to go. The total's tough on this. Under is 223. Yeah, I, that makes sense. I was going to, I think I will go over five and a half. I almost want to go under because I like that juice, but you can't do that. Oh, look at this. You got a six here. If you can find a six, I'll go under six. Under six. 
I like the under six, but I like the over five and a half, which tells you how tight I think the total is. So if you can find a six, we'll go under six. Okay, well, I'm going to be doing more, probably more videos for you guys. And uh, thank you for enjoying this fine programming, coming back all the time, and giving me views. Uh, I don't get too many, but the ones I do, I love you lots. That's my 442. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the hockey. Okay, bye.